Hi, it's Rob from The Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint computer screens. So this time we're going to start with Citadel Fulgurite Copper. I'm just going to use this to do some of the tubes on the computer screens and between the different panels. I'm going to be working on a couple of different screens on this particular piece. It's from the Necromunda Dark Uprising scenery. But it's got three screens on there so you can do three different kinds of screen as examples. So now we're going to move on to Citadel Lead Belcher. And that's just going to be to do all the frames around the screens and the console. Just want to give that a nice smooth coat of lead belcher because we won't be using that again once we've done. So the idea with these panels and screens is that you can get a lot of different styles of screen. You can do different looks to them. So if you want to do, you can do them looking like Star Wars or Star Trek or old computer screens or LED screens, whatever you want to do. So you can just play around with them, do them all different. So we're going to be doing three different ones on this today. We're going to be doing one green, like a kind of green and light green text computer screen. Start on this one now with Citadel Wire Flesh. We're going to be doing one based on the targeting system of an X-Wing. That's going to be really, really small, so it's not going to be the greatest, but you'll get the idea. And then the other one is a screen based on the old Commodore 64 startup screen. So you just want to give a nice, smooth coat of green. If that comes out a little bit streaky, just give it a quick second coat. That should sort it all out. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel The Fang. We're going to be doing the start of the Commodore screen with this one. Just give that a nice, smooth coat, like so. With the X-Wing targeter, we're going to use Leo Black, just to give that a complete black background. As I say, they are very, very basic designs, but because they're so small and it's just on a piece of terrain, it will look pretty good once it's all painted up, like so. Next up, we're going to use a little tiny bit of Mephiston Red. I'm going to be using this to do a little handle on the console and a little tiny bit of this dial here, this gauge. I'm just going to do this in a standard red, yellow, and green with that little gauge. I'm going to have it pointing kind of between the yellow and the green. Like so. Next up, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Avaland Sunset. And this is just going to be to do another part of the gauge there. Like so. And finally, we're just going to use another little spot of wire flesh just to do the first third of the gauge. And also, there's like a little round disc at the bottom there, which I've already painted in wire flesh. You just want to put a little spot of that in there as well. Next up, we're going to use Vallejo White. I'm just going to paint the bulb at the top here. That's a really simple technique for doing the bulbs and making it look like they are illuminated. It's by no means groundbreaking or amazing, but as I say, it looks good once it's on the table. It's also really, really easy to do. Like so. Now we're going to start with the shades, and we're going to start with Citadel BL Tan Green. I'm going to use that to do the main green screen that we've got there. Now we're going to be going over this screen with wire flesh, so there's no need to go over it with the whole thing. You can just do round the edges of the big screen. Like so. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Drachen Half Nightshade to do the little blue screen. Now, when I do the screens, I don't tend to put any highlights or shading on them. I'll paint them exactly as the screen would look without any light reflecting. 
then you use a little bit of gloss varnish just to shine them up and that gives all the reflection that you need from them. Next up we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Seraphim Sepia we're just going to paint the inside of the gauge with this just to give it a kind of built up dirt and grime look. If you wanted to and you wanted to go really wild you could highlight each colour individually but I'm not keen on that like. So next up we're going to be using Citadel Null Noil. I'm just going to wash all the lead belcher with this. You want to give the whole thing a good coat of the lead belcher. This just dulls it down and it's what you set up the base for giving it a scuffed and worn look. Now we're going to use a little bit of Cassandora Yellow from Citadel and you're just going to put that onto the light bulb at the top there. I was tempted to do that in red because it reminded me of the lamp on the side of the ghost containment system in Ghostbusters but ended up doing it yellow instead. Now we're going to use Citadel Grax Earth Shade and this is where we start using it to dirty up the console making it look like it's just got years of grime built up on the surfaces. So what you want to be doing is, as well as using it on all the fulgurite copper, you want to be using it on the top edges and top surfaces of all the consoles and the screens and any area that's going to catch dust and grime and get that built up on top of it. So all the top of the screens and that you can just give that a wash of a Grax Earth Shade. And also do the bottom of the screen panel there. Now I'm going to use Citadel the Fang just to recolor the screen, like so. Next up, we're going to use Citadel McCrag Blue, and this is to do the darker square which is in the center of the Commodore 64 main screen. Now, when you're putting this on, if you can't get the square edges like I can't, then all you need to do is go back to using a tiny little bit of the Fang again and go around the edges and square off that border and touch up any corners that you need to. So you've got the darker blue screen with the lighter blue screen around. Next up it's a little bit of Citadel Rust Grey. Now originally the writing on the screens was the same colour as the outer border on the Commodores but I'm using the Rust Grey just to make it stand out that little bit more. If you want it to make it look like the screen does have the text on there, if you do it as the Fang it will be very very discreet. I'm trying to get the initial two lines of text, do a third one underneath, then the little ready bit, then a little bit at the bottom there. So it's had some programming done on it. Moving next onto the X Wing Targeter. So we're going to use Citadel Avalon Sunset. And this is a little bit off the trench run. So you've got the square yellow box. You've got a little bit underneath where you have the number. You've got various lines which I'm trying to do here. Now if you do make it go wrong or you do something, put a line where you don't mean to or every now and again you'll see me go back with a little bit of black and touch that up because maybe you'll get a little twitch in your hand and put one of those <laughs> stray yellow lines going across the screen. If you do anything like that, just correct it, carry on with what you were doing. And there's one of those stray yellow lines right there. So we're just going to use a tiny little bit of Vallejo Black just to touch that up. Using a tiny little bit of Mephiston Red here to do two vertical lines and the little numbers at the bottom there. And the vertical lines are just how close they are to using proton torpedoes. Like so. The next screen that we're going to do is the green one again. So we're going to use Citadel Wire Flesh. Just going to repaint in that, leaving the shade in the recesses. Like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Scarsnick Green. Just to do a bit of a design on the front here. So we're going to break up the control panel into sections. 
Now what you'll notice here is it suddenly jumps and there's more of it done, and that's because I ran out of memory while fi filming this bit and didn't realise. So we're just going to section it off like so. And what you might find is when you're doing the lines or doing a little bit of text, you'll do some stray lines or make some thicker than others. And if you don't like it, look of it, just redo it again. Use a little bit of wire flesh just to go over the bits that you don't like. There's no point redoing the whole thing if you do like certain parts of it. And I'm just adding some little bits of text here. Leaving a few little spaces between the horizontal lines so that I can put in some red lines a bit later on. As though there is a fault somewhere in the system. There we go. Next up we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo White. And this is going to be to work on the light bulb at the top corner here. And all you do is you want to get the white in the middle of each panel with the yellow around the edges. Clearly not using LED bulbs in this one. Now we're going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Necron Compound. We're just going to dry brush this around the edges and a little bit onto each panel just to show where it's been worn, maybe from people leaning on it or touching it or scuffing it as they go past. Like so. I'm going to use a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome and this is going to be to do some little nicks and scratches and scuffs on there. Like so. And now we're going to continue just adding fine little details to this using a bit of my fist on red just to do some lines of text on the screen itself. Obviously you can add more or less red lines here, it depends on how bad you want the system to look like it's running. I only added a few here, like so. And the final thing to do there is just use a little bit of Citadel gloss varnish and that is just to do, go over each of the screens, get them so they've got a nice smooth coat and a lot of shine, because that way it will reflect the light naturally without having to individually highlight each section of the screen. Like so. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.